Okay, we're back with another video, guys. Today's March 1st. I just have to film the intro and outro real quick. So, um, title says it all. This is everything I bought in the month of February. Thank you guys for 800 subscribers. We just reached it not that long ago. So, thank you guys. Uh, let's hit 900 subscribers and then I'll do a QA uh, for my 900 subscribers. And then for a thousand, obviously, I'm doing another giveaway. Uh, but yeah, this is all I got in the month of January. And I hope you guys enjoy. Before we end this video though uh, i did receive these two yesterday one i got as a gift for my girlfriend and then the other one i received from amazon so this one i received from amazon yesterday which was the 28th of Fe february i think the separation by john bellin not his best work but also it's not his worst it's just all right you know favorite song on here is jim morrison i also like the front cover it's so cool the artwork is so cool and then the meaning of this is also awesome too you know he's separating himself from the sheeps i think that's uh, a pretty cool meaning sorry about my hair i know it's kind of messy i'm gonna take a haircut soon and then the one that i already got from my girlfriend as a gift is the definition by john bellin two john bellin records she's such an amazing girlfriend i'm telling you here's the back this is probably my either my favorite or my second favorite project of John Bellin. It's either between this one or the Human Condition. Their songs on here is Money Ride, Carry Your Thone, Human, Run Wild. This whole project, I'm telling you, this whole project is amazing. I'm glad I own it on vinyl now. So now I have three projects from John Bellin. Let's go. It's all I received uh, yesterday. I received another vinyl today. That's going to be going on the next month's video. So I'm going to show you. Here's a little peek. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into it. Let's go. Okay, we're starting this month with some heat. Uh, on the 1st of February, I received this cassette from Amazon. Harry Styles Fine Line. If you guys haven't checked this album out, I highly recommend to do so. I know it is a mainstream album, but it's still a great album. It's in a black shell, as you can see. Fair song from off this is Fallen. I also got this from Urban Outfitters on... The 3rd of February, so yesterday. Didn't really open it. I waited till I had a chance to do this video. And so here I am. Again, Urban Outfitters sent the record in this box. I'm not a huge fan when they send it a box like this. Although I do appreciate them putting some bubble wrap. I actually ordered this record last year in August of 2020. And it just now got here. I was going to cancel this, but I couldn't anymore. Uh, I was going to get it from his website. But they finally shipped it. Look at us. Beauty Behind the Madness. Let's go. This is the five year anniversary edition. Here's the side. It is kind of thick. This is a thick one. Here's the back with side A with all the uh, songs on this. Pretty cool. The record looks amazing. I see some pictures. It's like black and yellow splattered. It's pretty cool. Can't wait to listen to this. So today's the next day, the 5th of February. I received this package from Amazon. Let's go. Oof. We got here Playboy Cardi self titled album. Let's get it. Here's the back. I had to pick this up. Uh, this is not my favorite album from him, but it's still a solid album. I did pre order uh, his Whole Lot of Red album or his vinyl when the album came out. So when that comes in, I'll do an unboxing of that one as well. Uh, but yeah. We got Playboy Cardi to add to the collection. Let's go. Okay, it is the next day. We got another package here from Amazon. Again, I'm not a huge fan of how Amazon ships records. I'm excited for this one because this one is my favorite album from this artist. Oh, nice. Okay. I forgive Amazon. But yeah, they did uh, send it in this vinyl box here. So that's good. This was a thick one too, so kind of like the one that we got uh, like two days ago. Oof, solid. This is probably one of my favorite records that I own, honestly. Kissland by The Weeknd. This is the five year anniversary edition. It's a nice uh, sea glass vinyl. So this might be my new favorite like record in terms of like color. Either between this one. The Kissy Ghost one, the Beauty Behind the Man is, or the Harry Styles one. That one's a good one too. The whole record is amazing. I like Professional, um, Kissland, Wonderlust is a good song. Um, I wish there was a track list, but there's no track list. I am running out of room in 
I need to get the shelf soon. I might get it. After I get it, I'm going to film the vinyl collection for you guys. I have about, I want to say, 70 records now, at least in my hands right now. I'm going to be getting more next week. Expect the vinyl collection either next week. If not next week, next next week. Which, by the time you guys see this video, the vinyl collection video will be up. So, I, I don't even know what I'm telling you guys this. Okay, we got another package here from Amazon. Today's the um, 8th, I think. It's the day after the Super Bowl. And... I do gotta say, The weekend did an amazing job on this performance, so shout out to The weekend. I'm glad they put the LP in a separate box. I got one LP here, and then I got some sleeves for, well, for these. Here's the LP. Yeah, I got these sleeves. The poly uh, line paper 7-inch record in the sleeves. Time to replace those ones. There's only like uh, 25 packs. And then 100 sleeves of 45 RPM records. Which, again, I probably won't get that many. But if I do, well, Rodeo by Travis Scott. You know what? I finally picked it up. My brother does have his record. I bought this one last year, actually, for my brother for his birthday. And you know, I decided to buy it again for myself this time. Uh, dope record. Can't wait to listen to this. Travis Scott's best project. I'm going to get all his other uh, projects soon. Collecting records, CDs, and cassettes are kind of like a drug. I'm not going to like, it's just too addicting. And I have to slow down because I keep buying a bunch and bunch of these records. Like, holy shit. It's not even, like, funny. So I got uh, three records from Amazon today. I don't know where I Actually, I'm going to make a thumbnail real quick. This is another thumbnail for, well... Another month. Uh, I'm not sure how long. Let me see. Okay, I just realized that I wasn't even filming. I'm shaking my head. So I opened them all. When I went to take a picture, I'm guessing that's when the video stopped. So, so the first one I got here is Jay-Z, The Beautiful and Damned. He's back. Uh, this album was eh, but you know, I got it for free. Amazon was having this deal. It was buy two. Get one free favorite song off here. Uh, I don't really have a, a specific favorite song on here, but I do like Mama Always Told Me, No Limit, Battle Track, Him and I, Love Is Gone. Probably my least favorite Jay Z project. Beer Bongs and Bellies. Here's the front. I mean, the back. Here's the front. Just an eye. Supposed to be on clear vinyl, so can't wait to play this. Favorite song from this is Rich and Sad. That song was in my top 10 of 2018. This album was also in my top 10 of 2018. It was such a good album. It's a guy. Here, Beer Bongs and Bellies on vinyl. Supposedly, it's on pink vinyl. Fair song off here is probably the title track on here. Hollywood's Billion is a good one. I also like that one song with Travis Scott and Ozzy Bourne. I forgot what it was called. I think it was Take What You Want. And On the Road featuring Meek Mill and Little Baby. Uh, yeah, I'm supposed to be getting another uh, vinyl today from uh, an album that I pre ordered last year. I finally received the package. This one's from uh, 21 Savage. Probably already seen my unboxing of this. When this came out, it had three different versions. First version was the original cover. Second one is, uh, it was like two knives. And then the third one was also two knives, but like in a different p position. Uh, I decided to go for the uh, regular cover. Uh, I'm not too sure if this is limited or not. I'm not sure if you guys, if you guys buy this on Amazon. I'm not sure if you guys will get the red vinyl. If you guys did buy this from Amazon or if you guys are going to buy this off Amazon, please let me know uh, what color the record is. Fair song, obviously, is many, many men. Okay, so today's the next day. I got some more packages here. Yeah, look at this shit. I got a lot of packages. Oh, this is from Amazon. Let me actually play this quick because I haven't played this yet. I, I unboxed it, but I haven't played it yet, so I'm going to play it right now. Not when I'm doing the video, obviously, because, well, here's okay, so the first package. Obviously, yes, can't sell TV, so here we go. Judgy Ballads, I know somebody uh, asked me to unbox this. And I think the rest should be LPs. This one is a basic record. American Teen by Khalid. Favorite song from here is Coaster. For some reason, uh, my my favorite songs are always like chill songs, sad songs. My... Okay. Oof. Okay, so I finally got something to play my cassette. I got a Walkman. Obviously, this is not like a old Walkman. It's a new one. I don't know. I tried finding a good Walkman that's that was new, you know. And they don't make like good Walkmans anymore. So 
I just found like the closest thing to a decent Walkman, and that's the Jensen. You know, with, with cassettes, it's okay. Oh, look, I got another CD. Let's go. I always wear capes on CD. This next one, we got Superfly. I actually never seen this movie, so uh, if I like the soundtrack, I might go ahead and see the movie. I don't even know what the movie is about, so. <laughs> but the songs on here are actually pretty good. And I do love the songs with him and Young Doug on here. Show My Chain, Some Love, That's a Good One, Tie My Shoes. No Shame, Future and Party and Explore. Money Train with Young Doug and Ghana in the future. This record was cheap, it was like $15, I forgot to mention. This is probably the cheapest record I ever bought. It was like $13 for this record. So $13 for a record? That's actually a steal right there. Actually, no. Uh, I got uh, skins by X from Urban Outfitters for $8. So that is actually the cheapest record I ever bought. Okay, so Amazon again. Good job, good job. This one, I don't know what this one is. It's going to be a little bit of a mystery, a surprise, unboxing. Revenge of the Dreamers. This is the deluxe edition. I was going to get the regular edition because it was cheaper. But this has the songs with the black in here. So uh, actually, there's only one song with black. Oh, never mind. It's the last track on here, Still Dreaming. Plus, the cover is so much better. I'm guessing that's black. And then J. Cole is up here. And then J.I.D., if I could spot him. J.I.D. should be on the top, right? Can't even spot him. Where the fuck is he? Oh, right here. Last but not least, this should be my Kid Cudi one. Kid Cudi, Indie Cud. I have almost every single... Actually, no, I don't. <laughs> I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Uh, all I need now is Man on the Moon 2. I'm not going to count the ones that are rare, like uh, the Passion Pain, Demon Slain, or the Settle That Fire with Wizard. I'm not going to count those just because those ones are rare, and I'm probably never going to get them. If I do, great. If I don't, that's okay. But uh, I'm only going to count the ones that are just like normal. I did buy Man on the Moon 2 from Amazon for like $23, I think. Uh, but yeah, that's what I got. A couple of records. Let's go. We got one, two, three, four, four records today. Got two cassettes and then a cassette Jensen Walkman. That's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay, this is probably the most I've spent on a record. Now, I wasn't expecting this to come in today, so I'm kind of excited. Unfortunately, it is a little wet. I'm hoping that it uh, doesn't affect the record. But yeah, I do got this other package here. This one, I'm kind of excited to open this up because uh, I missed out on it when it first came out. And also, uh, there's a cassette in here that uh, apparently at first they canceled all the cassettes because uh, for some reason, I don't know. And then I checked back like not too long ago, like uh, around this month, and I saw that the cassette, the CD, the deluxe, and the record was back. The record was the only one that was sold out. Look. I really wanted the record because this album to me is amazing. Like I love this album. Okay, we got Wanna by Ghana on cassette. A nice cassette. Here's like a it's a nice purple cassette, I think. Super, super dope. And the cover art is amazing. I do prefer the, the original cover than the deluxe. The I also got Ghana the regular edition on CD. I do prefer the regular edition than the deluxe de edition. Uh, I probably might get the deluxe edition as well just because that's how much I love this album. I'm excited for this one though. This one, holy shit. I'm sorry guys, but I spent too much on this. Am I proud of myself? No, no I'm not. But it is what it is. Well, I'm hoping the record's not damaged. Looks like the person packaged this very well. So. I paid 160 for this. With taxes, it was like 170. I want to say that's how much I'm gonna spend on a record, but that's a fucking lie. You guys are not ready for this. Beautiful dogger. Pink record. Let's see if it has any uh, scratches.
Oh, what? It's like a picture disc on this side. There's no uh, music on this side. It's only just like straight up. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but holy shit, this shit's beautiful. This just goes dummy. I'm sorry, but this just goes dummy. Look, here's the back. Number 908. My holy grail. I mean, I have this. I have uh, St. John, but these ones I paid for retail. This is the only one I paid. My most expensive record. $100. Am I happy? Fuck yeah. Did I spend a lot? I did. Today's the 19th. I'm trying to upload my uh, vinyl collection, which I filmed yesterday. So, uh, I got three packages today, one LP, and the rest are just uh, accessories for records. Uh, the first thing I got from Amazon was uh, a Big Fudge vinyl cleaning roller. I heard that this is a good product to use on your records, and so that's why I got it. If you guys want a video about how to clean your, your records, then I could... Show you guys how to clean your records. And then, got another pair of This is some more outer sleeves. Because I ran, I ran out of outer sleeves. So I, went to get, so I went and bought myself some more outer sleeves. Also from Big Fudge. These are supposed to be, I think, more or better than vinyl style. But I guess we will see if you guys want a... Uh, videos showing you guys the best outer and inner sleeves then let me know i do have some inner sleeves that i bought yesterday which i forgot to show you guys but i got this uh inner sleeve yesterday also from big fudge let's get into this record here sucks so that this is not going to be in my uh vinyl collection video because <laughs> i filmed it already and i'm not gonna refilm it again just because of this uh but here we go we got Astro World by my boy Travis Scott. All I need now is President Travis C. McKnight, and then I'm probably gonna get these before the rodeo. Uh, but yeah, can't wait to play this. I'm sure this is gonna sound amazing on vinyl. That's all we got here, and until next time, let's go. Hey guys, I just received a package from Amazon. Let's go. I'm actually glad I found this. Um, this sounds kind of hard to get now for some reason. Some random reason it's kind of hard to get. But yeah, uh, Amazon restocked this. Oh, not restocked, but they said if I placed an order, it was like it was temporarily out of stock. So if I placed an order, they're gonna ship it once it's once it's in stock. So I placed an order and it shipped. I paid 26 bucks for this. Oh shit, it's kind of uh, sliced. It's sliced on the spine here. Man on the Moon 2 by Kid Cudi. Finally got it. My favorite Kid Cudi album. Glad I have it now. I'm gonna be unboxing Kid Cudi's albums for sure. This is the only one I needed. My favorite Kid Cudi album. Let's go. Yeah, I received two packages today. One from Amazon. And I'm not sure what this one is. I want to say it's from also from Amazon, but I'm not quite sure. And if it's the one from Amazon, it's probably Malibu by Anderson Pack. CD I ordered on Sunday. There it is. Kiss line. Had to get it. You know what? I got the vinyl. And so it just makes sense for me to get the CD. My favorite weekend album. Is the uh, sticker. Pretty cool. Now this one. I'm not quite sure what it is. Let's see what it is. Yep. Like I said. Malibu. Anderson pack and it seems legit no bootleg there it is Anderson pack glad I have it now my favorite Anderson pack album every single song on here is amazing especially celebrate I love this album had to get it on vinyl honestly had to get it I think it has a CD I'm not too sure if it does I'll probably get it soon and who knows I might get his other projects too so but yeah you got kiss land the weekend in Malibu. Okay, I received a couple of things today. First and foremost, I received an Amazon package. I received this. I got another one. This is my other one. Kind of didn't work. And so I ordered another one. I received Malibu by Anderson Pack. 
on CD. And then 2014 Ford Soul Drive by J. Cole on CD. And I'm supposed to receive another package from Amazon later today. And then I finally received my Spill Village merch. And hopefully my vinyl's in here. I ordered a vinyl. I'm not sure if a vinyl could fit in a box like this. I highly doubt it. So hopefully the record's in here. If not, then I'm going to have to go talk to them. And I received my Kanye West Washes in the Blood vinyl. Finally received that after, I want to say a whole last year. Let's go. Doesn't seem like it's opened. Washes in the Blood red vinyl. Looks like it came in in a paper sleeve, I think. I'm going to do it in, in the boxing of this. So stay tuned. It, it is a red record. So for the Spill Village. Um, I was supposed to receive my record with this. So let's see if the record's in here. Let's see. Because if it's not in here, I'm going to have to talk to somebody. Oh, thank God it's in here. I was about off. The record is in here. Finally received this. Spill Village. Let's go. One of my favorite albums of 2020. Finally got it. Limited edition splatter vinyl. Can't wait to unbox this. One of my favorite albums of 2020. With Sean. It's my favorite song on, on here. That's like Cupid. Baptized. Another good one. This album's amazing. Glad I received it. And I got my crew neck. Let's go. Looks like a receipt. I don't even want to tell you guys how much I paid for this. It was too much. Okay. Hopefully it fits. But I got a medium spill village crew neck. Had to get some merch from this amazing album, Spilligen. Spilligen. It's printed on Gilden. Hopefully it fits though. But yeah, that's all we got for now. Okay guys, probably my last package for the month of February. I think today is the uh, 26th, right? The month is almost over, so this could possibly be my last package of the month. Yes, couldn't tell. I got this from Amazon. Two LPs for today. Uh, this one is Everything is for Self by Boogie, even though he goes by Westside Boogie now. One of the best albums of, uh, I think it came out in 2019, I think, right? 2019. Everything is for Self. This side, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. The back. This song is so good. Every single song on here, except for just a couple of songs, but. Tires is good, Silent Ride is good, Skydive, Skydive Part 2, it's black, it's good. Even the song with Eminem, although his verse is kind of corny, but it's still pretty good. Okay, and then the next record, this one I got to complete the collection. Here okay, we got Travis Scott, Astro, or no, Astro with fucking President Trap Sing McKnight. Have it. Completed the collection this month. Rodeo, Risen Trap, and um, Astroworld. I can't wait for Utopia. He said it was coming soon. If I had to predict, probably before summer. I want to say May, probably. I don't know. We'll see when he drops Utopia, but I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be listening to all his albums on vinyl. So stay tuned for the unboxings of his albums on vinyl let's go okay i just received my probably my final package for this month this one i pre-ordered back in like january i think i paid like i want to say like like around 20 dollars for this i think this is my probably my first pop record this album right here i would say it's a classic i'm not sure if you guys can see it because i don't have my laptop set up but Hopefully you guys can see it. But yeah, this is a classic right here. Some Nights Limited Edition Silver Vinyl is the back. This record was out of print for like the longest, honestly. So I'm glad it came back. This is nostalgic right here. 2012, I think, is when this one came out. We Are Young, Some Nights, and Carry On are like the hits off this. Can't wait to check it out. I actually haven't heard the full project, so this is kind of like a blind buy. But those songs, oh, and it's a gay fool too. What the hell? Can't wait to play it, bro. Some nights, 
by fun. Let's go. Alright guys, this has been the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching uh, the whole video. If you guys haven't checked out my vinyl or cassette collection, please do. I'll leave them in the description down below. I'll do a CD collection pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. So if you guys haven't followed my Instagram, go do so. I will be posting a lot more over there. And if you guys have any questions about like anything music related, uh, then you guys can always hit me up on my Instagram. I'll put it in the description down below or just type it in. It's 808NR. And yeah, that's it. So until next time, guys.